cars have become a very important part of our everyday modern lives, mainly for transportation and for a few, a display of wealth, a show of luxury. Cars are a way to keep history, a nostalgic reminder of our past lives, and this is what this classic car show, which recently held in Lagos, achieved. Car lovers from different parts of the country attended, and owners showed off their vintage cars. Some of the car owners tell us of how their love for vintage cars began. This is a 1966 uh, Mustang Shelby Cobra, and I've had it for uh, about seven years now. So it was handed over. So I had a family who had it for 50 plus years. So they wanted to sell it, and so I got it from them. When you drive these cars, you have to be attentive to what you're doing. When you drive a car that you can put a cruise control, you tend to get reckless. Now you have to be very attentive because you have to be sure what you're doing. You have to be in control to drive the car versus you yeah, can push a button and the car drives by itself. So, but I've always been into them. I mean, I, I drive the newer ones, but I've always wanted something like this. I've always had them. I can walk on them before myself if I wanted to, like change the oils, something very, change the oil, change the plugs. I can do that because they're relatively easy to do. That's cars from the day my father taught me how to drive. And in fact, that's one of the inspirations for my own car, which is a classic Mercedes um, 2.6 liter um, 190E. So, yeah. so that's really from driving, learning how to drive and spending time with my father on Father's Day. I think it's important as any woman, if a car breaks down, you must know your water levels, you must know the engine hoist is overheating, you must know your tire pressures, you must know whether what kind of fuel you are having, the type of oil as well. So those things are quite important, you must be able to listen to the engine, car, things like that. I generally liked cars as a whole from when I was young and um, I think there's something about classic cars that's just of a particular look, of a particular date, for me in particular, that is so attractive. Well, you know that we have a lot of people who have an interest in vintage cars, and this is why we, we have the club. So essentially, um, it is Nigeria, but look at the turnout today. And we have members that didn't come today with their cars, so there's quite a following. There are quite people passionate about classic cars. The first car I ever drove was my dad's uh, Volvo from the 70s, uh, a, a P1800 uh, Volvo, uh, and I'm still hoping I can buy one one day, uh, but that's the first car I ever drove. And when I say drove, the car wouldn't start one morning, we're living in Europe, uh, the car wouldn't start. So he had me sit in it, so he and my elder brother who had more muscles could push. And he just showed me how to work the legs to jump start it once we had some momentum. So I always tell people that's the first car I ever drove. Apart from the classic car owners, we met a Nigerian car designer who built his own Nigerian brand car called Twim Custom Cars Nigeria. We started uh, pimping cars since 1984. We were concentrating on the Santanas, the VW Santana cars. And we did a lot of those until uh, they took the factory to China, then we had to stop. That was the last car we customized or that we launched was 30 years ago, the Twintana Z1. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's not easy to own your own car brand. Our cars are based on the Volvo XC90. The organizers emphasized the importance of the event. We'll be seeing people coming all day. It's a family event. Uh, kids have brought their fathers out to celebrate Father's Day with them. Uh, I have a friend who brought her dad, he's an elderly statesman at this point. Uh, she brought him out uh, to come and enjoy this event with us. If you look at it, classic cars are a way to keep history, especially as every car has a story. I think you're spot on. Uh, otherwise, none of these cars. Uh, you have people still chopping, chopping cars up and shipping them out as scrap metal, you know. But if you preserve them, uh, you have cars from the 19th, this is a 1953 week here. There's a Chevy from 1955, a Morris from 1964, my MGs from 1977, 46 years old now. Uh, so we are preserving history. We hope classic car shows like this evolve to educational forums for families and schools 
And who knows, it might just lead, eventually, to Nigeria's first car museum. Fumi Unajefe, reporting for Plus TV Africa.